Oil pastels are sort of a step up from crayons. Um, they use oil instead of wax. So you get good saturated colors. So if I have an image, I can color it in with my oil pastels. I'm going to go ahead and use a light green. I'm going to try and go for the edges first. And similar with the most media, you're going to color in with short strokes that go parallel to each other. And we can layer in colors quite easily with oil pastels. So I can put in some yellow on one side to make it look a little brighter, maybe adding a highlight. And I could use a blue as sort of a shadow or a darker green. I'm going to go for the blue. Just put a little in there. And they blend really nicely, so it's a great transitional media to, before you go on to paint. So we take a tissue, fold it in half, and again, we fold it in half six times. Our sixth, and then the hard corner is great for blending. And you'll see that it smooths out the colors really well. Something you need to keep in mind for oil pastels is that they easily rub off onto other pieces of paper. So if I go ahead and take a tissue and wipe, you'll see that it transfers over. So when you store these, they need to be kind of separated or have a piece of paper in between them, otherwise the color will smear and transfer. They don't really dry uh, ever, um, so they will always remain a little bit active that way. The other thing to keep in mind is that whatever you draw and cover with oil pastel is kind of going to be permanent. You can't really erase anymore to get out that pencil from underneath. So it's important that if you do some pre-drawing that you do it very lightly and that way you won't notice it so much with the oil pastels. A lot of times oil pastels will come in sets so you'll want to try and keep the set uh, without mixing colors up or if they're in bins try and separate the colors by bin because they will smear one on top of another. If you accidentally get a color on an oil pastel that didn't belong there, like here I can see a little bit of red on top of the pink, you can use a tissue to kind of clean that off or you can uh, color off that area on a piece of paper, um, some kind of a scrap.